Let's explore how different atoms come together and form covalent bonds. To begin with, let's look at how carbon and oxygen can form a covalent bond. Well, carbon has atomic number six, which means it has six electrons. So just like before, if you write the electronic configuration two in the first shell, the remaining four in the second shell. Now this shell can accommodate eight, which means to fill it up, it needs four. If it needs four, it will share four. Okay, what about oxygen? Well, it, its electronic configuration will be two, remaining six. The second shell can accommodate eight, so it needs two more to complete its outer shell. If it needs two, it's going to share two. So how will they form a bond? Well, this is going to share four. This is only going to share two. Oh, so what carbon can do now is it can share two with one oxygen atom and it can share the other two with another oxygen atom. So let's draw the dot structure over here. So one for carbon, but two for oxygen. One will draw this side and one will draw this side. Now, if we start with carbon, carbon will share all four of its outermost electrons. Two with this one, so we'll put two here. Two with this one, so we'll put two here. What about oxygen? Oxygen shares only two. So this oxygen will share only two. And since this is a different atom, we're gonna show a different symbol, dot, to represent its electrons. And what about the remaining? There are remaining four, which we'll put over here just like what we did in a previous video. And same thing over here. It's gonna share two, and the remaining four we'll put over here. So let's check, oxygen has its six electrons, six electrons, carbon has its four electrons, but if you look at the total electrons available, eight, eight, and eight. Everyone's happy, and so they are now covalently bonded. So carbon forms a double bond with one oxygen, and another double bond with another oxygen. You see, two pairs are being shared. And so that's how carbon dioxide exists in nature. Let's consider another pair. How will nitrogen and hydrogen form a bond? Can you draw the dot structure yourself? Why don't you pause and try? All right, so if you write down electronic configuration for nitrogen, we have two, then the remaining five. So over here, it needs three more to complete its eight. So it's going to share three. If it needs three, it will share three. What about hydrogen? Well, hydrogen just has one electron. And so in the first shell, it needs one more to complete the, the shell. So it needs one, it will share one. So this is gonna share three, this is gonna share one. How will it work out? Oh, you know what it can do? Nitrogen can share with three hydrogens, one each. So that means we'll have three hydrogens. So let's draw the dot structure now. So one for nitrogen, and then we have three hydrogen. So one for hydrogen here, another one hydrogen here, and we can either put on top or on the bottom, wherever we want, let's put here. Now hydrogen is gonna share one of its electrons, so let's put dot or cross, whatever you want. So let's put a dot here for hydrogen. And nitrogen, it's going to share three electrons, one each with the hydrogen. And once nitrogen shares it three, two are remaining, which we can put to itself. And let's check, we have nitrogen five, one, two, three, four, its own five, but total, it now has access to eight, nitrogen is happy. Hydrogen has its own one, but total it has two, so hydrogen is also happy, everything is filled. This means nitrogen forms a single bond, Look at that, a single bond with three hydrogen atoms giving us an NH3. So this is how they covalently bond, and this is ammonia. Let's do one last. What about carbon and hydrogen? Again, pause and try first. All right, so for carbon we have two, four, needs four, so shares four. And hydrogen as we just saw, just one, needs one, so shares one. How will it work out? Oh, carbon, since it's gonna share four, but hydrogen can only share one, it's going to share one each with four hydrogens, which means now four hydrogens will bond with one carbon. Okay, so one for carbon and four for hydrogen. First one, 
second one third one and fourth one and we can now quickly draw that dot one dot hydrogen is going to share whatever one it has with it so that goes into sharing carbon is going to share all four one each with the hydrogen so one here one here one here and one here and so what we find is that carbon forms a single bond with four hydrogens giving us CH4. This is called methane. But what's important is that we've figured out how they covalently bond with each other.